Here, London's fire chief has defended the controversial stay put policy as she gave evidence to the Grenfell Tower inquiry. Commissioner Danny Cotton said firefighters couldn't have known the building's systems would fail. And she described how on the night she feared some of the crews might not make it out of the tower alive. Sedgil Currier reports. The evidence I shall give shall be the truth. She is the most senior firefighter to give evidence at the inquiry, examining the Grenfell fire in which 72 people died. Danielle Amara Cotton. Thank you. It was ultimately Danny Cotton's responsibility to bring the blaze under control to save as many lives as possible. This is the commissioner inside the tower that night. She'd arrived almost two hours after the fire had started. It had been her first official day in the job. It looked like something uh, from a film uh, where somebody set it up like Towering Inferno or something like that. And my first thought was this can never happen to a building in England. She said as the scale of the fire became clear, she was offering comfort to her crews before they went into the tower for fear they may not come out alive. I'd spent a large number of time talking to firefighters who'd broken down in my arms. Firefighters I'd never met before, firefighters I didn't know. I've never seen a situation on the fire ground where firefighters are openly crying and distressed. She was then questioned about the training of her firefighters and whether the service was aware of the danger of fires involving external cladding on buildings. This risk was on LFB's radar nine months before the Grenfell Tower fire. Do you accept that? As with a number of other risks, yeah, except that people were aware of that. But she robustly defended that position. In the same manner that I wouldn't develop a training package for uh, a space shuttle to land on the Shard, you know, we would respond to it and deal with it in the same professional manner we do. She had a similar vigorous response when asked about the brigade's controversial policy telling residents to stay put. What we don't seek to do is to assume that every single building will fail because that would be catastrophic. Um, and if we were to make work on that assumption the whole time, it would make our jobs untenable. Natasha Elcock, a survivor of the fire, said she wasn't impressed by the commissioner's evidence. We know they saved some lives, but there were 72 lives that were lost, or 71 lives that night. Um, and she hasn't really referenced that. Asked if she would do anything differently, the commissioner was definitive. She had no regrets. Sejal Karia, ITV News.